The Sea of Cortez is uh, always interesting. Now I'm on edge a little bit. Oh, man, that's heavy. Mazalan. Ooh, dolphins. <laughs> Just cross the Sea of Cortez. Hi, my name is Kenna, and this is Jay. We live aboard our Choi Lee Offshore 41. Her name is Sitka. I'm new to sailing, but I'm learning and loving it more and more each day. Jay, on the other hand, was born a salty sailor. As he takes me under his wing to get ready to sail around the world, join us on our adventure of falling in love with the beauty of life and the wonders of each other. Welcome to the story of us, and welcome to Sailing in Sitka. Welcome back to another episode of Sailing Sitka. If you guys are new here, I'm Kenna and this is Jay. We wanted to say a very big thank you to the people supporting us by liking and subscribing to our content. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers, which is kind of crazy, honestly, for, for us. Like, we're pretty much a small channel, but thank you so much to everybody subscribing. It really helps us out. Hopefully, by the end of this episode, if enough people subscribe, we'll pop the 2,000 cherry. So that'd be super <laughs> nice. Um, we'll also put a link to our patron somewhere up there. Um, if you can support us that way and it doesn't hurt you financially, that'd be amazing. If not, the best way to su support us, which is totally free, is subscribing, commenting, and liking. That really, really helps our videos and Absolutely. push them to a wider audience. So thank you so much. Um, a little real-time update for you guys. Um, we're currently in La Cruz. Um, we've been here for over a month now, um, trying to figure out our prop issues and uh, other things that you're gonna see later that broke down so we're just in the fixing mode right now so um, yeah send us some love we love you guys thank Bye. you I guess it wouldn't be a Sitka sailing sailing episode if we didn't have to set the pole. So we're going wing on wing and as you can see we're in very light airs. So the waves are making us backwind. See? See how fun this is? There's nothing worse when the wind changes direction 90 degrees but the waves still come from the same direction as where the wind came previously. But hopefully this fills in a bit. And uh... At least we're on course right now. We'll keep you guys posted. Mazalan, here we come. The Sea of Cortez is uh, always interesting, I guess. Last time I did this crossing was on a tall ship and we had the motor because there's no wind and we were on a schedule. <laughs> Not the case this time. No. I mean, it was quite slow yesterday in the morning and then it picked up a lot in the afternoon and insanely at like 4.30 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying to Jay that it felt like we hit one of those zooms on Mario Kart where you go like fast. That's what yeah. it felt like. It was a it's less fun than playing Mario Kart zooms though. <laughs> Cuz in, in Mario Kart you like, you know, you beat your ever opponent. Meanwhile in this one, I had to get up off watch and the <laughs> boat's healed over. Kenneth projectile vomiting over the cockpit. I was I'm like steer to leeward and then like trying to ease the Genoa while pulling it in on the furler and then after that going to put a reef in the main when it, the boat's healed over and it's pitch dark. Actually, it wasn't that dark yesterday. There was a lot of moonlight, but still. Yeah, the moon was very bright. The, the moon was really bright, which helped a lot, actually. But still. But yeah, you know, right now we're wing on wing. We just put a reef in the Genoa because the wind started picking up. We we're going like six and a half. So we uh, slowed down a bit. Um, yeah, it's about to be 4 p.m. right now. 
and uh, we should be there tomorrow afternoon hopefully if everything goes well so fingers crossed maybe in the morning if we keep going this speed but we'll plan for the afternoon play it safe yeah 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 um, and then yeah that's gonna be our longest passage actually with just the two of us yeah like I was telling them that over a 50 even. hour passage yeah which is uh, it's nice Kenna did good yesterday when it was freaking mental out I didn't know she was scared thank you yeah my love and I'm trying to convince her to have some Mai again for dinner but her stomach's not feeling up for it even well though. I tasted it again at 5.45 this morning when it came up so and we were healing so much that Kenna was getting her face like wet with seawater by just puking over the side this is the waves were like the waves here are short like the periods like in the ocean waves are get bigger than this but you'll have like 10 12 13 seconds between each crest and each peak but right now it's like i don't know three seconds like they're just one after the other and right now it's not bad because they're pretty much going with us or almost versus yesterday we're getting them on the beam or on the quarter and then yeah it was all over the place So night watch on night two, um, a lot smoother than my first night watch on the first night. Um, doing happy fives and sixes, which is great. Um, staying on course and estimated to get into Mazatlan around 2, 3 p.m. So hopefully that keeps, keeps true. Um, yeah, not much activity. We're wing on wing. The sails are filled. And they're happy. The boat's happy. Um, we did pass a very large um, container ship type of boat, um, or a cruise ship maybe. They were they were quite close, but it was just massive, massive. So. Now I'm on edge a little bit, so just going to be keeping an extra eye out as Mazatlan is a um, fairly busy port. So, yeah, that's my night watch. I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Good morning, everyone. Super exciting. I spot it. See if I can pick it up here on the GoPro for you guys. I don't know if you can see it or not, but right there Woo and I know in some tradition it is to wake the captain but um, I'm just gonna let him sleep on this one he hasn't gotten a lot of sleep so um, yeah super exciting we actually did relatively well for just being two right now it's 6.30ish, January 5th, so day three, and yeah, nothing to report. Okay, 
you, that's a big boy. Oh, hun, that's heavy. You want to try pulling? No, it's probably going to snap on That's heavy. Is it the cedar plug? Yeah. Oh, I see it. Is that the mine? Yeah, it's definitely mine. Yeah, it's big, hun. You see it? Oh, it's right there. You see the green in the water? Look. Uh, it's going down. Oh, oh, come on, baby. Just saw a big reflection of it. It's like the same as yesterday. Yeah. Let me hold that. Yeah. Here, do you want me to hold the line? Oh, he's like, fuck this shit. Mr. J. Yeah. yeah, that one definitely has more meat on it. Yeah. Fresh mahi again for tonight. Mazalan. Ooh, dolphins. <laughs> we have arrived. Mazatlan. And there she is beautiful as ever and hot as ever. It is toasty. Toasty toasty. We're gonna be navigating our way into our anchorage here which supposedly is pretty easy as it's just on the left here. And yeah, actually not bad of a passage. Just cross the Sea of Cortez. Exciting stuff. Right, we made it. All right, hi guys. So we made it on our biggest uh, passage with just Ken and I. So that was like 56 hours. Mm -hmm. And as you could see in the episode, it was pretty, uh, it was all over the place in terms of wind. We got like high, high, high winds. And uh, yeah, we performed really well together. It worked good. Um, didn't have to motor a whole lot, which is good. We only motored four hours the first day to get out of the La Paz channel and when the wind completely died right next to a lee shore situation with uh, <laughs> Isla Jacques Cousteau and then we motored the last two hours because the wind completely died just to get in here and we've arrived and it's beautiful and we wanted to go explore but apparently the whole town is kind of in a shutdown mode right now due to a cartel leader that got arrested and they shut down the airport they're not taking cabs that their cabs are not taking anybody to town because it's like street yeah, there's like a street war going on everywhere in the city right now. So probably just stay at anchor for a bit and uh, stay on the boat where we're safe. 
and enjoy that mahi that we caught. Yeah, definitely the best fish I've ever had and I'm excited. Yeah, about it. and thank you to everyone who suggested getting cedar plugs. That was yes. definitely the cheat code since like my whole life I've been trying to get mahi <laughs> and I'd see them swim next to my boat like on their way to Hawaii and only tuna would hit. Yeah. And I was using only hoochies and everybody's like, oh, use a cedar plug, use a cedar plug. And then we got finally found one in La Paz and we put the line out the first time for like 30 minutes, boom, mahi. And then I put the line again this morning and like 45 minutes later, huge mahi. Well, not boom huge, again. but decent size. Yeah, I can't believe how hard it would be to reel in those like really, really oh, big ones. Like, cause we're using a hand line and like, honestly, like that first one, I think I had been dragging it for a while cause it was easy to pull in and it wasn't that big. And the one this morning, it was a little bit, quite a bit bigger than the first one, but yeah. not humongous. Like I've seen people reel in way no, bigger ones. No, like we've seen friends and, with huge. And huge. I mean, like it was a fight to bring it in on a hand line. So I can't imagine when they're like huge, it must be crazy. It was fun though. <laughs> yeah. It was really fun. Awesome. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys here our anchorage. Yeah. But yeah, it's hot here, you guys. Holy moly. Yeah, we're back to Cabo heat. Yeah, it's cute. It's really, really protected because we have a breakwater right there, which is great. And yeah. Oh, and the reason, the reason also where we're the furthest boat back is because when we could have went forward a bit, but because our prop is messed up right now, when we try to set the anchor in reverse, the boat goes like hard, hard to port, like 90 degrees. So it's quite tight in there. So I didn't want to like start turning and then hit another boat or get too close to another boat. So we try to play it safe with our prop. And it looks like, sorry for the noise in the background, I just got an email from the propeller company out of Florida and apparently the prop that we ordered three days ago is going to arrive tomorrow in Puerto Vallarta at our friend's place. So I'll believe it when I see it, but touching wood, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Um, and then we'll have to plan a haul out and that, that, that jibba doobba 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 doobba. Next on Sailing Sitka. We're going to go hike this this morning. First outing since the cartel violence. So this is the doc we're working with right now. It's an aphrodisiac. <laughs> <laughs> 